Hello, everybody, and welcome to Personal Finance. My name is Lisa Swallow. It is spring 2024, and the purpose of this welcome vi video is to just say hey, and also to show you your Moodle shell and kind of how the class is set up and take a brief walkthrough um, in the syllabus. So let's pop over to the Moodle shell and take a look over here. So um, <clears throat> if you're listening to this, it's because you found the Start Your Online class here, where I give you a, um, a little overview of the course itself. Um, this is a pretty personal class, so I'm going to ask you to reflect um, and write um, about your relationship with money, budgeting, spending, um, just general um, risk reward uh, relationship with finances. And then um, the second part of the class will be digging into actually making a budget and then learning about the time value of money, insurance, um, financial planning and different tools in the stock market um, and things like that. So it's a really I think a great class, pretty broad class. Um, we will be using a textbook called Personal Financial Planning. Um, you can either purchase it direct from Cengage Publishing. You have hard copy and ebook options if you go onto their website, or um, better probably is to go through the UM Bookstore and you can just click on this link and it should be able, when you go and put in BFIN 205S, you should be able to access the book. We are not using the online platform, um, so you won't be doing that. Um, and then I will go through our syllabus in just a moment. So that's really this um, welcome to the class page. So what I'd like to do before I come back to the syllabus is just take a peek at how the actual Moodle shell is set up. So this semester sort of weirdly starts on a Thursday, which is January 19th. Um, and then you can see, because that kind of throws the whole thing off. Normally, I like to start new units on Mondays, but that's not what's happening this semester. So you can see, like, Chapter 2 begins... Friday the 26th, chapter three begins Wednesday the 21st, et cetera, et cetera. Chapter four is a really short chapter and begins Thursday, March 7th after test one. So you, you can read all this, but um, if you keep like a daily planner or you want to um, enter these beginning dates for each unit into however you manage your time over the course of the semester, I really highly suggest doing that like now at the beginning of the semester so you can kind of like get um, a vibe for how long we're going to be on each unit. So let's just go into the first unit like what does it look like? Okay so Thursday January 19th. So each unit is set up exactly the same way. It starts with an overview. What are we going to be talking about? Right. So this is basically the um, outlining your financial goals and we're going to do some this little it's kind of a light attitude towards money quiz. You're going to apply some of those basic thoughts to your own um, financial situation and just do some writing and thinking around, <clears throat> around relate your relationship with money. So what do you do? You start by reading the first chapter. You're going to watch the two videos. Everything's right below this. Um, and then you have three short five-point items to complete. And the due dates are in red, January 22nd, 24th, and 26th. And again, this normally you're not going to have three things due a week, but it's just kind of jump starting in the middle of the week. Um, it is, it's a little awkward. But at any rate, so I would, if I was you planning for this class, I would go on um, <clears throat> and look at everything that I had in front of me in that unit and what the due dates are. And get those documented again, like, I don't know how you keep your plan. Um, I actually do mine in an old fashioned notebook, but, um, you know, whether you do it digitally or whatever and get, get this written down, you are going to want three, two to three times each week to work on this class. Okay. So like, oh my gosh, I've got something due on the 22nd. Everything's always due at 11 PM Mountain Standard Time. You are not going to come on, on the 22nd at eight o'clock at night and, and do all this and do the assignment and get any sort of adequate grade. 
this is built around like, oh, okay, I'm going to read the chapter. That's you know going to take me an hour. Each of these videos, okay, let's go down and see what we're looking at. So I can see, oh, this is a lovely picture. This is a 15 minute video on attitudes towards money. Okay. Where's my second video? <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, here. So here's the, then there's a one and a half minute intro lecture to this chapter and a 12 minute substantive lecture on the chapter. So those are the two videos that are gonna take you actually through the material of this um, chapter. These are super short. Many of my lectures are a half hour to 45 minutes. So obviously you would set aside time to do that. So, okay, so I've got a, I've got to read, I've got to watch the two videos, and then you've got three things to do. Watch the instruction video on the assignment. There's a link to the little attitude quiz, and then do the reflections. Then there's financial planning exercise number two in your book on page 40. And I'm asking you to use worksheet 1.1 to do that. And then you're going to do applying personal finance items A through J on page 41. And those are due January 26. So I'm like, okay, so this week I've got to read. I've got to watch two content videos. And I've got these three assignments to do. This one also has a little instructional video. This one's got a worksheet. So like try and wrap your head around, wow, this is what's in front of me in the next seven days. And then pencil out when you're going to do it. So just sort of leaving it out there, probably not the best uh, plan. Okay, so reading and resources. As we're all getting settled with our getting our materials, I have actually copied the manuscript from the textbook for the first couple chapters. So if you're struggling getting your books or financial stuff, okay, I've still got that. Here's the PowerPoint slides that I use to do my lecture. Here's that worksheet I talked about to go with the financial planning exercise on page 40. I always have a solutions manual posted. So after you've turned in everything for the um, unit, I can open that up. And then I've got the two videos, short intro to chapter one and substantive chapter one lecture. This is all your information on your attitudes towards money assignment. Here's actually the link. Here's your two videos. And again, I reiterate the three assignments and then I've got places set up for you to submit them. First one due on the 22nd, second one due on the 24th, and last one due on the 26th. So these are the items I'm asking you to do for unit one. Every unit's gonna look exactly like that. So then it's Friday the 26th, I go on and I'm like, Okay, wow, this is a huge chapter. It's taking three whole weeks. And we're going to do a spending journal that takes an entire month. So, gosh, there's, again, reading through the tasks. I mean, you get the point, right? They're all set up exactly the same way. So um, if you have any questions about how this is set up, please let me know. It's really important that you feel like you can open up these units and be able to um, divvy up your time over the next two to three weeks for each unit. Um, as we get more into the chapters, I also have some videos called lab chats. And lab chats are when you work something through with me. So for example, um, so this is a lab chat, how to prepare a cash flow budget. And so when you click here, you're going to actually see a caption of a video that's going to walk you through how to do your cash flow budget. And then um, this section over here is where all your reviews are, your tests, which I will open up, obviously, during test times, um, and then your final. So let's pop back over here. I just want to open the syllabus. Um, okay, so again, this is um, 
BFIM 205 Spring 2024. I am at um, Missoula College on the campus there. And um, for office hours, I basically, since this is an online class, just encourage you to um, set up any one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom meetings with me for any questions you may have. I really um, enjoy meeting students online and like if you want to be like hey I just want to go through some homework together um, I'm not really sure I don't understand this so um, set up a one-on-one -on -one zoom appointment with me um, and then I'm also in my office on the river campus room 408 from two to three on Tuesdays and Thursdays so here's a description of the course um, and here is the student performance outcome. So that means what do I expect that you're gonna be able to do once you're done with this class? You know, you should be able to calculate interest on a loan. You should be able to create a cash flow budget. You should be able to prepare your personal finance sta uh, statements. You know, do your own simple taxes, understand how to finance a house or a car, insurance uh, issues, et cetera. Okay, so these are your performance outcomes. Again, same link, how do you get your book? There's discussion about um, academic honesty. You can see the link to the student conduct code. And then if you have any um, accommodation needs, please email me your DSS letter and um, I will do whatever we need to do to accommodate um, any needs that you may have. We also have, um, access to food and um, ongoing academic support services through a series of, um, or a variety of offices and student support services. So please see there's links here for a renter center, um, a food pantry for our students, uh, and then um, ongoing technical support. Uh, we have a UM Solutions Center. I do not do tech support on individual computers. Um, or with Moodle, so that is through UM Solutions Center. Okay, so your homework, again, like I just introduced, it, usually it's due a couple times a week, Wednesdays and Fridays, but it's totally up to you to look at those due dates under the tasks for each unit and make sure that you understand because that's not true with the funky start date. So, um, Carefully check the due dates for each chapter uh, and late homework is not accepted. So there's the points in the course. There's three exams for 100 points each. There's a final paper for 50 points. And um, we do have some taped guest speaker assessments for some of the insurance chapters. And those are worth 15 points each. And then you can see almost, you know, 182 points is the homework, just the weekly homework, those five and 10 and 15 and 20 point homework assignments. So, I mean, you really, really, really need to stay um, on top of that. So grading scale is a straight 90, 80, 70, 60. And um, I am sincerely hoping that this video was uh, helpful for you and that you enjoyed the class and that you learn a ton about um, empowering you around your own finances. So we will see you soon. Take care. Bye.